In this video, I'll be going over the five main types of printers and copiers that you can buy from big box stores and copier dealers around the United States. I'll start with the low volume machines and progress to higher volume machines. Also, before I start, if your business or nonprofit is located near Athens or Augusta, Georgia, and you're looking to purchase a new copier, contact us to help you select a new machine. We're interested in helping you find the right machine with the features you need. Buying the wrong machine can cost you thousands because you bought optional equipment you don't need or you have a machine that can't handle the amount of printing you're doing and is constantly breaking down. Give one of our offices a call or see the video's description for a contact form you can fill out. So first, we have the all-in-ones and consumer printers you can find in Walmart, Office Max, and many other stores. Typically, a copier dealer won't sell this kind of machine because they're not designed to be repaired and maintained. These machines are designed to be used, and once they break, that usually means you're going to have to buy a new one. They come in two configurations. The all-in-one is a machine that can print, copy, and scan, while the standalone printer can only print from your computer. These machines are great for home usage, with ink yields being around 300 to 500 prints before needing to buy a new cartridge. If you are printing 500 sheets every few months, then this is fine, but if you are printing 500 sheets every few weeks, then this, is, then this option is not for you because your ink cost will quickly skyrocket past the cost of the printer itself. Next, we have a category of machines we like to call desktop copiers. Desktop copiers is not an industry term, but once you recognize their characteristics, you'll see that they fit a distinct niche. They are bigger and can handle much more volume than your standard all-in-one, but they're not big enough to stand on the floor yet, so they have to sit on your desk. These machines also come in two variations, the standalone printer or MFD, multifunction device. A multifunction device is the same as an all-in-one, meaning they both print, scan, and copy. The only difference is that the term all-in-one is a term used for consumer printers you buy from a retail store, while the MFD is a larger machine designed for business use. Going back to the desktop copier, this is the lowest volume machine typically sold by copier dealers. Generally, these machines use toner instead of ink, and generally toner is much cheaper than ink. Depending on the model, the typical toner yield for a single cartridge is between 6,000 and 10,000 prints, so it's much higher than an all-in-one. These machines also come with the more advanced features, such as scan to email, scan to folder, and scan to cloud databases. So if you're stuck at home and you have to do a lot of printing and scanning for both work and your kids' homework, a desktop copier would be a much better option than your standard all-in-one. The next series of machines is what we like to call a compact copier. Again, this is not an industry term. These machines are the first category in this list that are highly configurable, meaning you can add extra paper trays and finishers. The desktop copiers and all-in-ones are not as configurable. If you want to learn what a finisher is, click on the gray card in the corner. You can configure these machines to sit on top of your desk at work or stand in the corner of your main office. Typical toner yields for these machines, depending on the model, is between 12,000 to 20,000 sheets for a single toner cartridge. These machines are great for small offices. It is very common for a larger company or a clinic to buy two or three of these machines and then place them in various departments. For the fourth main copier category, we have the copier. This is by far the biggest category in terms of variety, but their common characteristics are they're full-sized machines, highly configurable, and they are designed for work environment volume. Depending on the model, the toner bottle yields can fall between 20,000 to 80,000 sheets. The difference between a copier and a compact copier is that a copier is a larger machine that handles larger paper sizes. If you have experience with buying copiers, then you're probably familiar with the idea of A3 machines and A4 machines. Most compact copiers are also known as A4 machines. An A4 is a European paper size that is almost equivalent to the American paper size letter. While in A4 machines the max width of paper is 8.5 inches, they can also print out legal sized pages, which are 8.5 by 14 inches. 
Full-size copiers are also known as A3 machines because A3 is a European paper size that is almost equivalent to the American paper size ledger, which is 11 by 17 inches. Back in the day, most full-size copiers could only use up to 11 by 17, but now it's normal for a copier to use 12 by 18 inch paper and sometimes 13 by 19 inch paper. Also, remember that the scanning and copying features of a machine will match its printing feature in terms of paper size, meaning don't use an A4 machine to try and scan 11 by 17 sheets because A, the A4 scanning plate isn't big enough, and B, the A4 can't use paper big enough to output a copy. Lastly, in the long term, a copier will also handle more volume than a compact copier. The advantage of a compact copier, however, is its size and ability to fit just about anywhere. Lastly, I'm going to mention another unofficial category of copiers called the production class. These machines are designed for high quality and high quantity. Their toner yields will run from 60,000 to 90,000 sheets, and they will support even more optional equipment than your standard full-size copier. Production machines can print out hundreds of pamphlets, spiral-bound, and square-bound booklets easily, whereas standard copiers can only print out saddle-stitched booklets. Production machines are for those that are printing very high volumes on a monthly basis for many months at a time. So here are the five main types of copiers and printers that are most commonly used. There are of course more types of printers and copiers at either end of the spectrum, but those are generally specialty machines and are not the norm. To learn more about purchasing copiers, visit duplicatingsystems.com and click on the buyer's guide. There, you'll find videos covering many aspects of buying a copier. If you have any questions, ask us in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.